for us to come together as a community like after such a like traumatic and shocking event. You know? The Park Rose High School students kept their spirits up over the weekend at their prom after a scare on Friday. That's when a student was arrested for allegedly bringing a shotgun on campus. That 18 year old student sent the school into lockdown and today he'll have his first court appearance. Elise Haas is live from Park Rose High School and joins us with more on the suspect and the man who people are calling a hero. Elise. Yes, that's right, Ken and Jenny. So in just a few hours from now, school will resume as usual today here at Park Rose. There is going to be some more counseling for staff and students as they're working through this today and throughout the rest of this week. There's also going to be extra security, just enhanced security to make everyone feel more comfortable and safe as they continue on with this school week. And it was in today that um, the student who was brought a gun to school will be in court as well. And so that student was identified as Angel Granados Diaz and he will be in court later this afternoon. Police said Diaz had a loaded shotgun when he walked into the high school and then into a classroom. And it was the head football coach, Keenan Lowe, that tackled him and prevented him from using that gun. Students and parents alike, of course, are still praising the football coach for his actions, plus also taking notice of the noble act as the Trailblazer star Damian Lillard. After practice yesterday, Lillard commended Lowe, calling him a hero. A bunch of people's lives are at risk. You know, a lot of students in the classroom, um, including his. And in that situation, you know, a lot of us would freeze up um, or um, kind of back out and, and not know what to do. And for him to, to take that type of stand and to, you know, go and um, tackle the kid and, and protect all those people and himself, you know, I think just, you know, that's a real hero move. And Diaz is charged with possessing a gun in a public building, attempting to discharge a firearm at school, reckless endangerment, and possession of a loaded firearm in a public space. And so this investigation is still continuing, but that student will be in court later this afternoon at 2 o'clock. Of course, we'll be there as well to follow this, and we'll let you know what happens. But for now, reporting live in Northeast Portland, Lise Haas, Coin 6 News. Thank you, Lise.